The spotted lanternfly was first discovered in Pennsylvania in 2014. Its population has expanded to half a dozen states since then, including Delaware and New Jersey. Here they are feasting on Tree of Heaven, a favorite of lanternflies in Newark, Delaware. But they feed on lots of things, which is the problem, like grapevines, hops, grain and fruit crops, as well as hardwoods like black walnut and maple. Simply put, these bugs pose a serious economic threat to several commercial industries. They're a group of insects we call true bugs. It's not a fly and it's not a moth, although it's quite colorful. It's related to what we call plant hoppers, and so it has piercing, sucking mouth parts. University of Delaware lanternfly expert Brian Kunkel explains the bug feeds on the sugars, or the sap, that the plant makes. Currently, we have no documented evidence where trees die from spotted lanternfly feeding. High populations will stress trees, and that could make them susceptible to something else down the line. And so if you've got a maple that's been repeatedly fed on by spotted lanternfly, it makes it harder for that plant to defend itself against uh, future arthropods or diseases that may come and try to attack it. Brian says spotted lanternflies are excellent hitchhikers. They can hang on to a car going 50 miles an hour. So he suggests checking the wheel wells, also this gap between the hood and the windshield for any lanternflies that might be tagging along because we certainly don't want to introduce the bugs to states where there aren't any. The waste from lanternflies is called honeydew and it's full of sugar. In addition to attracting bees, flies, and other unwanted bugs, the sticky honeydew is hard to remove and can coat yards and decks. The other thing that happens is we have a, a fungus that's called sooty mold. It's a black fungus that feeds on the sugars in honeydew. And it can be an indicator for when you have spotted lantern flies that produce honeydew on your plants. So these aren't tree of heaven. These are a different tree. It's obviously not being fed on spotted lantern fly, but the way the trunk here looks, how it's nice and brownish gray in the ground here is you can see the soil and plants, it's green. This is how the tree of heavens were looking when I was here in July. And then just since the end of July, if you look over here, this is the tree of heaven and you can see the amount of sooty mold. All that black is sooty mold. And you can see that these plants weren't able to photosynthesize and they ended up dying. Lanternfly nymphs hatch in May and are black with white spots. As they mature, they change to red with black spots and reach adulthood midsummer. That's when they start mating and laying eggs through the winter. The lanternfly can lay eggs on pretty much any surface. The egg masses look like putty or mud and should be removed so they can't hatch in the spring. Scraping them off and smashing whatever you scrape off ensures that you're squishing them. If you've had any experience with them, they're difficult to kill, very heavily armored, and they're good at escape. I'm Shirley Men. And I'm Regina Mitchell. For more videos like this, subscribe to WHYY.